Hello guys, welcome to the second part of this tutorial series. Now in the previous video you learned how to download Python and uh, in this tutorial we are going to talk a bit more about the inbuilt code editor which Python comes with which is called as idle. Now idle is actually a software development environment and basically stands for integrated development environment. So it's basically nothing more than a piece of uh, software which already has been prepared for us by the creators of Python, uh, which we can use to type in our code and get started with uh, developing the types of program that we want. So idle is basically completely free to use. Why do I say that? Now there are certain IDs or integrated development environments for which you might actually have to pay for the functionalities they offer because those additional functionalities might actually make our life a bit more easier. But as a beginner, idle is actually completely good enough to get started with Python. So to open idle, you actually shouldn't have to do anything much. Just go to your start menu like this and just type IDLE idle. And over here you can see the first prompt idle python 3.7 64-bit and we are going to open that and the window basically looks something like this now this window is actually called the python shell now remember it's the first window that you encounter after opening idle now that's the python shell so if you're an absolute beginner and uh, if you have been trying to actually get started with python for quite some time i think it's safe to assume that uh, this is not the first time that you hear the statement hello world now for people who have been in the field of programming for quite some time hello world is actually nothing new but as an absolute beginner to python you might wonder what exactly is hello world now simply put hello world is just uh, something that comes as a tradition now whenever someone tries to learn a new programming language they just want to get something up and running at an instant just to you know get the feeling that you wrote something in your new programming language now most of the programming languages are able to do arithmetic computations directly so one could just simply type something like one plus one and check whether the answer is two you know something like this you simply can just type into this uh, python shell one plus one and when you press enter you can see that it returns the response and the response is two which is the answer for one plus one but i guess that's nowhere near as cool as writing a hello world program right so so what they would do instead is to get python to generate something something like a statement and display it which traditionally happens to be the statement hello world now we can try to do that with Python shell too. When you are in Python shell, if you see this sign which looks like three greater than signs, which we call as prompt, if you can see this, that means Python shell is actually ready to type in. Uh, if you cannot see that, that would usually mean that Python shell is busy, maybe running a piece of code which you had asked it to run before, if there is nothing else going on in the background. So now let's go ahead and run hello world. So the way to ask Python to show me or display or in programming terms, we call this as printing. So what you can do is you can just simply say print and open the brackets. And once you open the brackets, actually in Python 3, if you're printing something, it's mandatory to write that thing inside the brackets. But in Python 2, if you've been using Python 2, actually it's not really mandatory to open a pair of brackets. So uh, once you open the brackets, you actually have to specify Python saying that you're going to write a statement or a string in programming terms, as I mentioned. So the way to indicate that you're going to write a string is simply by opening a pair of quotes like this. Now it can either be single quotes or you can, it can even be double quotes like this. So once you open the quotes, you can just type whatever you need for Python to print out inside these quotes. Now in, in our case, we are going to print out hello world. So I'm just going to type simply hello world. And after that, I can just press enter and you can see that it actually printed out hello world for me. To give you an idea of how simple Python is actually in terms of its syntax, I'm going to quickly show you how a simple hello world program looks in other famous programming languages. Now I'll go ahead and pull up this article from medium.com. As you can see over here, hello world in top 15 programming languages. And as you can see, it shows you how different uh, the syntax of different programming languages comes out to be when we are writing a simple hello world program. Now JavaScript, it's just a one liner as you can see over here. But when it comes to Java, you can see that you will need all of these in order to actually print a simple hello world. Now, as you can see over here in Python, it just takes one line similar to JavaScript, what we saw over here. Uh, but when it comes to programming languages like let's say C++, you can see that how complex it can get just to write a simple hello world program, isn't it? So in that sense, Python is actually quite human readable. So that's a, a pretty good advantage, especially for, a, for someone who is actually just getting started with the programming. 
because we don't want to just uh, dabble in this kind of s- complex statements especially when we are getting started isn't it all right so that's about it for this tutorial now in the next tutorial we will talk about how we can use the editor window in order to write save and run a simple python script